this Vader's mission comes to an end in Darth Vader issue 25. So after 25 issues, Karen Gillan's fantastic Darth Vader series comes to an end in the giant sized Darth Vader issue 25. This issue wraps up Vader's confrontation with Silo and his many clones, all who die very horrible deaths at the hands of Vader when they try to fight him. After dealing with him and his space whales by throwing them into a sun, Vader is confronted by Dr. Aphra and the Emperor, who have been talking together about Vader's dealings behind the Emperor's back, mainly Vader trying to amass an empire within the empire. Probably my favorite scene in this book and probably the series was Vader and Aphra's final confrontation which saw Aphra blasted out of an airlock. The thing I love most about this is that Vader didn't really force her into it and he kind of promised that he would be killing her and you know he all he did was like gesture her to enter the airlock and she pretty much completely broke down and didn't want to die and everything and I thought that was absolutely absolutely amazing like it just shows you Gillen totally understands Vader and while he's shown the Dark Lord do more action-packed things you know in Vader down and the show tour and war and everything it's the little moments like this you know he's just able to gesture to something and it makes him truly terrifying and quite a formidable foe we also got an ending to Admiral Tag, who after going against Vader is demoted and I just love the scene where he pleads with Vader to allow him to continue his work but Vader just just kills him with a flick of the wrist and you know the the, uh, the old force choke. However Aphra unlike Tay didn't actually die and we find out in a sort of like after the credits sort of thing that they have set up with the book. It's in this that we see her picked up by her droids and Black Chrysanthemum and along with this development Marvel also announced that Aphra would be getting her own book again written by Kieran Gillen. And I'm really excited to see what they're going to do with this character and she's been very popular people have responded very well to her so I think she has a lot of story potential I'm really glad she's actually still alive and still got her own comic uh, so being a giant sized finale I think this ended up being like 50 odd pages this also comes with a backup story called Coda which takes place when Vader arrives on Tatooine for the first time to meet Boba Fett who he sent after Skywalker someone he didn't really know at the time and that's when he sort of learnt about his son so in between waiting for Fett and getting the information about his son he actually went and butchered a whole tribe of Tusken Raiders and I thought this was really cool so it sort of mirrors you know what Anakin went through that we saw in episode 2 how he butchered all the Tusken Raiders there and it sort of mirrors that he, he still has a, a deep-seated hatred for him for them killing his mother and everything and I thought that was really great and one of them actually survives and he carries Vader's story with him and it turns Vader into some type of demigod for the tribe this was a fantastic last issue and I can't wait to see what Gillen does on his next Star Wars project. I'm going to give this book a 9 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching my latest video, I hope you enjoyed it. While you're here, why not check out another one of my reviews, like and subscribe my channel for more reviews and videos, and follow me on Twitter at Matt underscore FOS. Thanks guys and I will see you all next time.